Now quickly, I just want to show you how to utilize the effects within Recordbox. So first of all, make sure the effects tab is actually open. Now, if you've got something like the DDJ 400 and up, so 400, 600, 800, 1000, then you're only going to be able to utilize one effect at a time. You can see here I've got three dots, which activates three effects that I could use simultaneously. And this is for the old deck. So this would be for the DDJ RB series. And then here I've got a single effect, which is for the DDJ numbered series. So the 400, 800 or 1000. And again, you've got one on the left and one on the right. Again, the, the right side won't be utilized. So as you move the channel that you want the effect to be active on, it's simply going to change from one to two here. Or if you've got the DDJ 1000 from two to three, three to four, or the master or the sampler deck. So you're never going to be using FX2 if you've got one of the numbered DDJ decks. So once again, DDJ 400, 800 or 1000. Okay. Now, next thing, your effect selection is over here. And of course, you can use the FX select button on your DDJ in order to navigate from one effect to the next. And if you hold shift and you push the effect select button, then it goes up the list. If you're on one of the higher end controllers, such as the DJ 100 or 1000, you've got a rotary switch, just like on the DJ mixer in the previous video that I showed you, where you can select exactly what effect you choose. Again, at the bottom of the effect strip, you've got the on off button, um, and this just toggles the effect on and off. Your level depth is represented over here, so that's the amount of effect being applied. Your beat value for the effect is represented over here. And of course, if you had something like a reverb, then this wouldn't be there. You would have a room size instead, which represents how big the reverb is. But if you've got an effect such as an echo, then you're going to have this number representing how often you hear echoes. So one half implies every half a beat. So you're going to hear an echo occurring once every half a beat. If it was on one, you would hear an echo occurring once every beat. That's what this implies. And that is the gist of it. You do have a couple of additional controls which you don't find on standalone mixers, such as Rev here, which stands for reverse, and it just reverses the echo effect. And then you can also filter the effect. So I could high pass just my echo or low pass just my echo. And I've got freeze, which actually takes wherever the echo value currently is, freezes it and you get in sort of infinite repetitions. That's not something I recommend you use, but feel free to play around with it on your own and see what it does. Uh, now you don't have any uh, beat effects on export mode because export mode is just meant for organizing your tracks and playlists to be used on a standalone deck or an all-in-one system like the XDJ RX. So I hope that's given you a good uh, overview of how you set up your effects using Recordbox. And thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.